Hey everyone, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, and I'm taking you through L.A. Noir, the star map achievement or trophy. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our map, and we're going to start in the left-hand corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the right. So I'm going to do like a sector scan, move up, move down, make sure there's nothing you know, in between and just keep on hitting the next landmark to the right. So if you need to start over or you need you need to take a break and come back to this later, uh, hopefully that'll help you figure out where exactly you are. So all I'm doing is I'm zooming in on each landmark. When I zoom in, you can see the image of the landmark, the description, the name of it. Uh, so you can get all these details. You can also see every street name that's surrounding the landmark so this should be really easy for you to pull up your map and free roam and be able to uh, pinpoint these areas uh, drive to them or either you know have your partner drive to them by holding down Y and doing fast travel and uh, once you get there go ahead and drive around either in front of the landmark or get close to it and it'll go ahead and tell you that you've found that landmark so there are 30 of these to find uh, once you find them, as I stated, you will unlock the star map achievement. This will also give you 3% towards your 100% completion achievement, if that's something that you're interested in and uh, you're going for. So some real quick facts about the game that maybe you didn't know or uh, maybe forgot about. Uh, for one, a lot of the crimes that you'll witness in L.A. Noir or have witnessed if you've already played the game, those are actually based on real crimes that were happening around this era. So uh, they went through and the team behind this game, they, they went and researched uh, old newspaper clippings and found what was happening in the city at that time. And they've taken those and they've kind of implemented them and worked them in to the game. So, I mean, this, this game is all about authenticity, as, as much as you can possibly get. And you see that when you drive around Los Angeles. They've went in, uh, if you've been to Los Angeles before, you know that it's a lot of freeways, it's terrible traffic, etc. But it, it, had, it wasn't always like that. And so what the team did was they went in and they researched all this. They, they found out the street names, the original street names, they went and found old photographs of uh, storefront buildings uh, and there was just there had to be an incredible amount of time just invested in getting this right and it's, it's really sad because there's no way none of us will ever fully appreciate the amount of work and detail that that went into this because it's just massive you can't possibly drive down every street and look at every single little thing in the map or in the game uh, but it's truly amazing and they did an awesome job making you feel like you're really a part of this story You're really a part of this era in Los Angeles at this time Now as far as the actors are concerned you may have noticed that in a lot of games when you when you play games like this You'll see a lot of the same faces and characters over and over and over. It's like they just you know keep recycling them uh, but with Ellie Noir they actually had over 400 actors that they brought in uh, and filmed so and, and I noticed this too uh, before I got to the end of the game I was like you know I'm not seeing a whole lot of people that look exactly the same which uh, that just helps add to this um, this feeling that you're part of this real world that's that's going on around you so I think they did a really good job with that as well now here we are we are nearing the end and uh, one of these here that I'm going to do in just a second uh, it's actually a, a repeat so I wasn't sure if I had clicked on it uh, that's why there is no number so uh, don't go back to the cold storage unless you missed it the first time but that was just a little mess up by me because it is a little hard because you can't zoom out all the way so that was a little frustrating but one reason why I did this video is uh, a lot of the other videos that I saw, they were doing uh, gameplay footage, and I really just didn't see the, the necessity to show gameplay footage. I think that the map works out just fine. You can get all the information you need in a lot less time, and can move on about your way. So you can play the game, get the achievements quick. And after you're done with that, you find all 30, you have yourself the star map achievement. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.